This wasn't enough. Cut, 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 cut. More, 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 more. <gasps> it crawled its way out of the ocean, laughing at it, stimulated by that very voice. <laughs> Now it worked. Uh, remind me to cut this out. Well, OBS hates me. Welcome back to these ERA. Last time, it seems like Ren awakened to his aunt and Elbe, and we are chased by. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood and um, um, the other guy. Not her name, by the way. I forgot it, so deal with it. They could no longer catch the target. They'd been given the slip. No other way to put it. Let let them take some blood, and you'll take their life, huh? Not an idea I'm all that fond of, frankly. Perhaps I've been contaminated by this country's value system. What do you think? And if I care? Wilhelm's begrudging tone and demeanor hit very little of his rage at very at being humiliated. <laughs> We're chasing the bastard, Melius. That son of a bitch didn't make it out of there unscathed. Let's settle the score. No objections. Can't stay quiet after going through all that. An injury inflicted by an arm in the air, but was no ordinary wound. The concepts accumulated within them over countless years turned both into a curse and a lethal venom. In fact, its sting was even more effective against wretched foes like them. Rizalka's face warped into a wry smile. Ow. That hurt. That hurt real bad. I think I might even cry. Come on, babe. Didn't you agree? It's been 60 years since I felt such pain and I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, that hurt. It hurt alright. Aren't you happy, Malius? A long forgotten sensation. It may have felt good to effortlessly slaughter thousands, but this was the true essence of waging war. They felt the tension and exultation that only a battle to the death, with each side's entire being on the line, could offer. After having gone so long without a worthy opponent, a worthy opponent. <laughs> They appear to have almost forgotten what it meant to put their lives on the line. The clamor and glory of the battlefield, the spark of a dying flame following a clash of souls. <clears throat> ah, the sheer beauty and ecstasy of it all. Which is... <laughs> I just started being bothered that there are women in this group. I'm sorry. Um, no, it's just... Uh, well... They come from a Nazi group, right? So, Nazis didn't see women as, well, 
full-fledged human beings, but more of a uh, thing to give them children that would fit the image of a proper German. I forgot the f proper term. I'm sorry. Uh, um, so there's no way there would be a girl in the army and a captain whatever <laughs> for that uh, well well I, I might be wrong but normally there wouldn't be they wouldn't get a position of power easily and there seem to be more women than men in this group so, so far uh, no, it's the same amount so far that we met. The long black hair, red hair here. And that's it. And him and the priest for the man's side. But yeah. I don't know. Let's continue. I am getting off track again. How grateful they felt to be once against. Against? Once again reminded of it. Yeah, I guess that fits it better. Even scorching pain would be a nectar most sweet to them. <laughs> I'm gonna ha have fun with this one. The night's still young, isn't it? So you need be. Masaka, I no kota to hongo wa nakatta kedo. The girl. Oh. Yes, yes, that's right. Bay. I never would have expected the girl to be the one. Wilhelm and Rosaka, who had already gotten used to opening their so-called third eyes, a type of vision differing from normal sight during each battle, could easily discern a person's identity without even looking at their face by examining the colour of their soul. Furthermore, the colour they spotted in vivid detail was one of sinister magic, with a series of vicious and discriminate slashes being launched in all directions from its epicenter. <laughs> The invocation point seems to be the tip of the body. Its range is just short of 20 meters and the closer you are, the harder it hits. A typical fusion type, just threshing everything in its path with brute force. Reminds me of you, actually. I hear that, but it can't be all. Don't forget the best that Ibishkeit is different from ours. After all, he's the originator. Either way, guess it'll be clear once we watch uh, the catch to the fucker. Let's go. Wilhelm and Rizalka commenced their pursuit once again. The regenerating wounds emitted red smoke. Not a trace remained of the carnage and destruction that took place upon the bridge. The dozens of citizens killed tonight would no doubt be dismissed as simply having gone missing. Normal people, by nature, couldn't hope to comprehend inhuman principles. Oh, yeah. Hundreds and thousands of people just up and vanished. Ah, they're just gone missing. Oh, who cares? No, could they understand its suffering? It's cold, freezing, and it hurts. Its thoughts scattered into disorder, left at the mercy of a torrent of negative emotions. Like someone caught drowning in a venomous ocean's whirlpool, in the end, it could no longer maintain its sanity. Or rather, where did sanity? 
end and insanity begin? If the ability to restrain oneself was the sole determining factor, then one had no choice but to say that it had been insane from the start. It wasn't driven by a desire to kill. It didn't wish to, but neither could it stop. Why was that? It could no longer distinguish between the objective and the subjective, almost like it possessed multiple heads. It was freezing, and it hurt, tremendously so. No doubt a natural result of having been submerged in the cold winter waters, yet... <laughs> yeah. By the time its face broke, the water surface of the pursuer's presence had already faded. It had successfully shaken them off. It began to swim pathetically, panting like a wild beast. There was no longer any feeling in its arms, not yet due to the cold, but rather that frenzy from earlier, straining its limbs to the extreme. With slender hands that looked like they could barely hurt a fly, it sliced apart numerous people and cars then fought to others. <laughs> it vomited up blood, it didn't appear to have external injuries, but the chills that accumulated in its guts, like mott in a ditch, wouldn't go away, nor did the pain, for that matter which felt akin to a molten hot chain wrapping around one's legs. They were all the after effects of its battle from a short while ago. Wilhelm and Rizalka. Their attacks had left a curse that smoldered still in its body, leaving it in a state where even swimming proved toil. <coughs> Suffering and agony, it pushed its way through waters that felt as heavy as mercury before falling, a final reaching the wharf. They did why did the tears refuse to stop, trickling ceaselessly down its cheeks? Were they one of pain? Fear or joy? With the answer nowhere inside, it clawed up the wolf with enough strength to knock off its nails, creating cracks in the wet concrete. The act went beyond superhuman strength in entering the realm of the outright inhuman. That power whispered. This wasn't enough. Cut, 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 cut. 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 More. 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 <gasps> it crawled its way out of the ocean, laughing at it, stimulated by that very voice, as if this wasn't enough. It had to cut more and more. It had to devour more and more. It had to sacrifice more and more. He needed to get strong, so she had to pull her weight. She would be his strength. She would help him. That wish meant everything. She could think of nothing else, but when and why did she begin to think that doing this sort of thing was okay? Naruhodo. I see. Tsumari Kadukeus. Atamaga Futatsude. In other words, the caduceus. The two had a snake where one hat replaces the other when necessary. So that's how it happened, huh? They had me completely fooled, but this explains everything. The problem lies in determining which one of them is the true head. What do you think? Well, to be frank, I am not sure, quite sure. The sickening sound of breaking neck bones, Valeria Trifa wore faint smile as his companion stomped on the security guard she had knocked out. Robbing him of life. Danga Dutra Niseo, Suguni Kotaiga de Rudesho. Mina say. Either way, we will find out soon enough. Take a look. Korega Kareda no se ibuts. Mada Kanzen ni do Kawashtena yo desnga. Soremo Jikan no Mondai de Shone. 
はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
prerequisites of the spell's invocations uh, invocation are, as I suspect, war shall soon be at our doorstep. Understood. Okay, true step back. Then I shall ascertain the circumstances with my own eyes, Your Eminence. Also, after throwing a glance at the dead security guard at her feet, she went on in a low tone. I'll take care of the cleanup here, so do not try to restrain yourself. Do try. Do try. His uh, blah, you seem to be just as restless as those two. Indeed. The priest freely sounded a chuckle of self mockery. He then produced a cell phone from his pocket, a truly unsuitable item for this place, and began dialing. Ah, what is Yes, it is me. How are things on your end? Yes. Yes. I see. That is splendid. I leave the rest to you then. Not noting that her conversation with the priest was over, Kay moved away to pick up the body. あなたの裁量でベイとマレウスを抑えてください。私からの命令だと。はい。そういうことで構いませんので。My deepest apologies, Spinner, but could you please help me and stop Bay and Malias before they raise the entire town? Considering this, consider this an order directly from me. Yes, that is quite all right. So Spinner had finally arrived as well. Considering Wilhelm's claim that he'd take another two or three days, he seemed awfully fast still. Perhaps that had all been according to the plan. Well, whatever the case. Things are finally falling into place. Well, I think this is a perfect place to end this. And I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.